cannon blast starts the walk and walkers make their way through downtown Mobile going westward on Government Street with a police escort. Each step is part of this group's story, facing addiction with family or loved ones. It's two years ago I lost my brother from a drug overdose death uh, to a toxic dose of fentanyl and methamphetamine, and it's life-altering. Um, it changed our whole family, and it only takes one time. This is a five-kilometer walk through Mobile to raise awareness for the issues related to addiction and to tell people there is life without falling into addiction. Each and every one of us that are clean and sober, we're miracles. And for people that are dealing with addiction, it's hard to see hope and we want to show hope and we desperately want to show that you can have fun being clean and sober and still ride motorcycles. Organizers say one of the missions of this walk is to remove shame and stigma associated with addiction. A lot of times people think that it's a moral deficiency, that there's something wrong with me morally, that I continue to do these things that are harmful to my family, harmful to myself, harmful to my employee, harmful to the community, and that there's something wrong with me. And they don't recognize this, uh, addiction as a, as a brain disease. They also want people struggling with addiction to know there is help, and there are people who want to help them one step at a time. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.